children welcome once again to our english lesson this lesson focuses on unit 8 of your grade 10 textbook this is the last lesson we are going to study for unit 8 we are going to deal with vocabulary in this lesson let's learn how to form the plurals of irregular nouns correctly let's start the lesson children as you already know A plural noun indicates that there is more than one of that noun, while a singular noun indicates that there is only one. When forming the plural of nouns, most are created by simply adding s or es to the end of the singular word. For example, we say one cat when it is singular, but two cats when it is plural. the nouns which form their plurals this way that is only by adding s or es are called regular nouns children although there are standard rules of forming the plural there are many other nouns that don't follow the standard rules these nouns form their plurals in ways other than the addition of s or es they are called irregular nouns In other words, irregular plural nouns are nouns that do not become plural by adding s or es as most nouns in the English language do. You are already familiar with many of these. For example, the plural form of man is men, not mans. The plural form of child is children, not childs. In this lesson, Let's discuss how some of the common irregular plurals are formed. First, let's discuss how to form the plurals of nouns ending in f and fe. To make a plural of a noun ending in f, change the f to v and add es. Leaf, leaves, calf, calves. Similarly, if a noun ends in fe, Change the f into a v and add s. Knife, knives, and then life, lives. The result for both types is that is the nouns ending in f or f e is a plural that ends in v e s. Okay, children. Next, we'll study how to form the plurals of nouns ending in no. Plurals of nouns ending in o are usually made by adding es. So potato, potatoes, tomato, tomatoes. But children, some nouns ending in o that are borrowed from other languages like Greek or Latin take only an s to make a plural. So photo, photos, and piano, pianos. You don't add es but only s. children next you have nouns that change vowels when forming the plural many english nouns become plural by change in their vowels like this food feet man men and then some nouns change their spelling when forming the plural mouse mice child children Then there are irregular nouns that do not change at all when made plural. Sheep, even the plural form is sheep. This is same for the word deer. The plural and singular forms are same. Hope it's clear up to this point. Okay, children, let's do an activity to practice what you have learned so far before proceeding further. This is the activity. You have to fill in the blanks of these five sentences with the plural form of the word given within brackets. You can pause the video and do it now. Okay, let's see how you have done it. Let's read the first sentence. All the blank child ran to the park when the rain was over. Okay you have to fill the blank with the plural form of child to form the plural you have to change the spelling here it's children so you have to write it in the blank all the children ran to the park when the rain was over now the second sentence 
My father is five, blank, foot tall. How did you fill the blank? Yes, here you have the vowel change. So plural of foot is feet. My father is five feet tall. The third sentence is Keep the storybooks on the second and third blank shelf. What is the plural of shelf? It is a noun ending in F. So you have to change F into a V and an ES and write shelves. Keep the storybooks on the second and third shelves. Next sentence is There are only blank men working in this building site. Here again you have to change the vowels when forming the plural of man. How did you fill the blank? There are only men working in this building site. Now the last one. We took several blank photo of the beautiful flowers. How do you form the plural of photo? Although it is a noun ending in O, we don't add ES to form the plural as it is a borrowed word. We have to add S only. So the completed sentence should be, we took several photos of beautiful flowers. Okay, I hope you got all the answers correct. Okay children, let's learn some more about forming the plurals of irregular nouns. Let's learn how the plurals are formed in some more foreign words. These are words borrowed from Latin and Greek to English language. The first type is nouns ending in US. To make a word ending in US plural, we change this US to I. So, syllabus, syllabi, fungus, fungi. Let's see how the plural is formed in foreign words ending in is. Nouns with an is ending can be made plural by changing this is into es. Axis, axis, thesis, thesis. Next, it's words ending in on. These are Greek words. They change their O-N ending to A when forming the plural. Criterion, criteria. Phenomenon, phenomena. Look at this type now. Nouns ending in I-X or E-X. Nouns ending in I-X or E-X are changed to I-C-E-S in formal settings but sometimes XES also is acceptable. Index, indices or indexes. Appendix, appendices or appendixes. Okay, next we have nouns ending in A. To form the plural of these nouns, we have to change A into AE. Formula, formulae. The last category we are learning in this lesson is nouns ending in U-M. Words ending in U-M shed their U-M and replace it with A to form a plural. That is datum, data. Curriculum, curricula. Hope you are clear about the foreign plurals also by now. Okay, let's do an activity from your textbook now. This is activity 11 on page 90. This is what you have to do. You have to write the plural forms of the irregular nouns given. Pause the video and do it. Okay children, let's check your answers. The first word is fungus. It is a foreign word ending in US. So you have to replace U and S with I. The plural is fungi. F U N G I. Next one is phenomenon. A word ending in O N. So the plural is phenomena. P H E N O M E 
in A. Okay, the third one is bacterium. I think you are more familiar with the plural form than the singular form. What is the plural form of bacterium? It's bacteria. Now the fourth word, it's nucleus. A foreign word ending in US like the first one. So to form the plural, you have to change the US ending to I. So what's the plural now? It's nuclei. N-U-C-L-E-I. Fifth one is analysis. A word ending in I-S. To form the plural, you have to change I-S to E-S. So the plural is analysis. A-N-A-L-Y. S E S. Sixth one is appendix, a word ending with I X. So you can write the plural as appendices by replacing I X with I C E S. And also you can write appendixes. It is also correct as both are accepted forms. Last one is vertebra. How do you form the plural? It's like formula. You have to replace A with AE. So the plural form is vertebrae. V E R T E B R A E. I hope you could find the plurals correctly. Children, that marks the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we learned how to form the plurals of irregular nouns correctly. We learned only some of the ways to form the plurals of irregular nouns. We will learn more about irregular plurals in another lesson. I hope the lesson was useful. Please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.